with Goa having long list of conquerors over centuries, it has a number of forts which were used for different reasons. The Portuguese too found the need to raise the fortresses at several points, facing river mouths to defend their new acquisitions in the east. That's when great forts like Aguada and Reis Magos came into being. Aguada Fort The fort was constructed by the Portuguese in Goa to safeguard themselves from Dutch and Marathas. During the Dutch invasion in 1604, the combined forces of Reis Magos Fort, Cabo Fort and Gaspar Dias Fort were inefficient. Though Portuguese won the war, but they incurred loss of lives as well as military resources. Hence, the Aguada Fort was built in 1612. It is located 18 kilometers from Panjim on the banks of River Mandovi. Aguada Fort is named after the freshwater spring that gives the fort constant supply of potable water, agua, means water. Aguada signifies a place where water is collected. In the beginning, the citadel at Aguada was known as Praça de Santa Catarina and the fortress was known as Fortaleza Real, that is, Royal Fort. The fortress stands at the height of 260 feet above the sea level and is built of durable laterite stone. Its massive bulwarks, which stand fully 5 meter high and 1.3 meters thick, have stood the test of time. There was a cistern in the fort which had the capacity to store 23,76,000 gallons of water and which was one of the biggest freshwater storages of that time in the whole of Asia. The fort has been divided into two parts. The lower part was used to safely bring the ships to the harbour while the upper part was used as watering station and also as a fort. The upper part also has a secret passage to escape during invasion. The lighthouse of the fort is of four story and was used to emit light through lamps after every seven minutes. Before the construction of this lighthouse, bonfires were used to guide the ships to the harbour. This lighthouse was abandoned in 1976 and a new lighthouse was constructed. A part of the fort was converted into one of the largest jail in Goa. Due to its frequent use, the jail was not open for public. Salazar administration converted the fort into jail during the freedom struggle of Goa from Portuguese. Many protesters were imprisoned here in 1946, and even today, the jail is restricted for public. Reis Magos Fort Standing tall and proud, overseeing the taluka of Bartes, this fort was one of the first bastions of the Portuguese rulers against enemy invasion. The structure exudes majestic grandeurs and though it is not the biggest fort in Goa, it still commands respect and awe. The fort was built by the Portuguese Viceroy Alfonso de Noronha in 1551 and was rebuilt in 1707. It had played an important role in defence of Goa in 1739 against the Marathas. Originally, it was an armed outpost built by Adil Shah in the late 1400 and got destroyed in 1500. In the beginning, Portuguese used this fort as a shelter for viceroys and dignitaries who arrived from Lisbon. But gradually, the Portuguese realized the strategic importance of this fort and used it to ward off Maratha armies. It was occupied briefly between 1798 to 1813 by the British Army. It was subsequently abandoned by military and served as a prison until 1993. The architecture of the fort has the fusion of Hindu and Portuguese style of architecture since it was designed several times under the rule of Portuguese and the Marathas. It was constructed using laterite stone and is located on a hill. The other features of the fort are high sloping walls underground rooms, passages, and cylindrical turrets looking out towards River Mandovi.
The water supply is provided to the fort from a fresh water spring which is situated within the fort. The fort had been well preserved by 33 guns and a small military troop. Seven guns can still be found within the fort in the present day context. One of the interesting things rooted in the history of Res Magus fort is the banyan tree. None of the trees existed on the grounds when the fort was still an important defense establishment. This magnificent tree is a parasite and grew on a coconut tree, eventually strangling it. The first thing that one sees on entering the fortress is the death hole. The death hole was used to shoot or pour oil on enemies who had breached the gates. A little ahead is the hole in the wall. There was once a solitary confinement cell. Located close to the fort is the Res Magus Church, which is the first church of Bardes. Res Magus symbolizes the Magi kings, that is, three wise men. Historians have the evidence to support the fact that the church was built on the ruins of an old Hindu temple. This church is now a restricted site. An enduring testament to the skill and strategic planning of man, this fort is well worth a visit. The fort commands glorious views of surrounding countryside which make up for great photographs. The forts of Goa definitely have a lot to say and the tourists shall enjoy a pleasing time filled with moments of leisure and vibrancy. Though not all forts are well preserved, a visit to them is worth it because of their historical heritage. Uh, built uh, during Adilichar's rule, okay, Adilichar of Bijapur. And uh, later on, it was, uh, renovation had started in 2008 by General uh, Gerald Vikuna. Okay, he's a well-known um, archaeologist. So when you start, when you enter the fort, there are pictures, right? Pictures of old Goa, all uh, pictures related to uh, Goan uh, heritage, you will find ancient pictures there. Then when uh, towards, uh, on top when you go, there is Mario Miranda gallery. Now Gerald and Mario Miranda used to be very good friends. Okay? And when Mario Miranda expired, they gave him a state funeral. That's when he decided after restoring the fort, he will have a special gallery for him there. In memory of his friend. So when you uh, enter his uh, gallery, it's superb, it's superb. All paintings of Mario Miranda from Germany, from uh, uh, Japan, wherever he traveled, whatever he drew cartoons are kept there. Uh, his cartoons where we have kept everywhere, like uh, uh, you can, wherever you go, you see Mario Miranda. On uh, templates, you see on calendars, you see in rest restaurants, in Mumbai, in Goa, in many other states. So all that he collected and kept in a gallery. Okay. First of all, when he when he reconstructed the fort, a lot of evidences that had historical uh, evidence or history behind those cells were uh, vanished, completely vanished. So I feel the restoration of the fort was done well, but not to an extent where uh, history could kept uh, be kept alive. A lot of history has just vanished off after the restoration. So when you do restoration of the of a port, it has to be restored the same way it was there. Okay? Like if there are monu uh, monuments and you feel those monuments are getting rusty because they are of metal. Metal. You can use some kind of uh, material to reconstruct it, to polish it back. But you cannot vanish uh, what was there. It loses its uh, complete historical importance. अच्छा फेमस फोर्ट्स हैं साथ किल्ले हैं साथ तो तभी तले रेश मागोश आने का फोर्ट आगवा ये दोन फामा दशे किल्ले फामा नॉट जस्ट बिकॉज़ तंचा आर्किटेक्चरल स्टाइलिंग लगों कौन अन्य हिस्टोरिकल इम्पोर्टेंस चा पर्टिकुलरली वो इचा लिबरेशन अच्छा आतुल लेना साथ मोमेंट अच्छी नजर लेना Particularly Dutch law, I think Maratha Dhanjagarchan protection on Hadil. But later on, you will have the prison. And how do you think about it? I am a citizen of the country, and I am a citizen of the country. Then I think that it is a historical relevance. Because those were used as a prison. Where the country was used as a prison, the country was used as a prison. The country was used as a prison. The country was used as a prison. 
मैं दिता है सगे फोर्ट सामाणु दौर संवर्धन कर इम्पॉर्टन्स जी आज हिस्टोरिकल इम्पॉर्टन्स फ्रॉम गोवन लिबरेशन पॉइंट ऑफ व्यू ये आई जनरेशन मुखार ये मैं सामकी गरज आर्काइव डिपार्टमेंट आसत कि बाकी संबंधित खादी आसा सरकार खेरीतपण तीन जे इम्पॉर्टन्स जान ये जे फोर्ट्स आसा तेजे संवर्धन कर सामकें इम्पॉर्टंट आसा अनफॉर्चुनेटली कई फोर्ट्स सामक निग्लेक्टेड आसा दुख दिता एक एज्युकेशनिस्ट मु एक सोशल एक्टिविस्ट मु लाइक फॉर एग्जाम्पल खर्जुए फोर्ट लो आसा खूब सुंदर असो फोर्ट या वेर हाँ कि खुबे योगदान गोई फ्रीडम मुवमेंटा आसा कि पुर्तुगेज दिल्ली आसा पुन आज तो सामको पड़ंग कसो थे पड़ा दिष्ट पड़ता ते संवर्धन जाने दिष्ट पड़ना मेन्टेनन्स ना सो दुसरी गजा रेशमा गोश फोर्ट आसा कि फोर्टागवाद आसा कि तेरेकोल पर्टिकुलरली सगले टूरिजम नजरे हॉटेल हॉटेल स्वरूप दिल्ली आसा खूब मैं विद्रूप क्या आर्काइव्स ये आसा कि पुराण वस्तु संग्रहालय अरे जी भूगी भूगे अभ्यास करते हिस्टोरिकल नजर बुक्स आसते विडियोज आसते ऑडियोज आसते भूगी गो फ्रीडम स्ट्रगल भारत के फ्रीडम स्ट्रगल वर्ल्ड वे मुवमेंट्स जैसे हा मुंट्स फोर्ट्स की ब्यूटी जी आता तीन जी अवेलेबल स्टाइल आसान दोन गजाली एक जे गो लिबरेशन मुवमेंट नजरे इम्पॉर्टन्स आता है सामाणन वो संबंध भारत संवसार इतिहास एक कड़े मेरवा नजर एक लाइब्ररी मुझे कि एक पुराण वस्तु संग्रहालय मुझे हा कि जाऊँ कि संवर्धन जाऊँ सामाणन उ फुड़े जनरेशन खाद नेक्स्ट फाइव जनरेशन टेन जनरेशन टेन जनरेशन टू कम उसे